Hi there folks, we've been asked by some of our followers on Instagram for some advice about the Irish art market and how things work and for advice about what people should buy etc. Uh, so one of the first questions we got was from a person who's looking to buy a painting in the 3000 euro bracket um, and they're looking for advice. Now, in many ways, I would have preferred if I knew a little bit more as to what sort of style of work they would like, um, whether it's an old work or a modern work or an abstract work or a landscape or a figurative. But anyway, we don't know what that is. So I'm just going to go, I'm going to go through some of the works that fall into that particular budget, uh, which are in our um, forthcoming important Irish art sale, uh, the one that was postponed from the end of March. Um, the catalogue for this particular sale is on our website, www.adams.ie, uh, along with a 3D video tour of the gallery. Um, so what I thought um, was that I would look at a number of pictures which are quite different in style uh, to try and cover as many of the bases as possible. And the first one, and it just happens to be lot number one, um, is this work here by Cecil Maguire. And Cecil is a wonderful painter, very highly regarded um, from Northern Ireland, but spends quite a lot of time uh, working in Connemara, out in Carrow. Uh, and this picture is called Some Sheep for Inishlachan. Um, and it depicts uh, Johnny McDonough, who's a local farmer, and he's bringing his uh, few sheep over to the island from the mainland, presumably. And I love this picture because it's got a wonderful sense of calm. It's one of those pet days that you get in, in, in the west of Ireland. Um, there's hardly a, a ripple in the water. Um, and the, just the sense of um, peace and calmness that Cecil manages to convey. But there's also a lovely sense of the uh, community sense that uh, just a few little dots of paint in the far headland provide, that these are cottages in the distance so he's not all alone and there's also this lovely uh, depiction of another rowing boat there just beyond him so there's very much a sense that he's not uh, completely isolated and that he's part of a community and he's a man uh, on a mission bringing the sheep over to the island this picture was painted in 1992 um, and is estimated at three to five thousand euro um, so the next picture that caught my eye and is one that i again i'm, I'm very fond of and it's this work by Evie Hone. And Evie was one of the great uh, mid-century Irish modernists. Um, she's probably best known in many ways as being a stained glass artist. Um, but this particular picture is called In the Woods at Marley. And it's um, painted in watercolour. It's a nice size. It's 38 by 32 centimetres and it's signed by the artist. And it comes from the collection of Pat and Antoinette Murphy. And we sold their collection, or a major part of their collection, back in October. Um, and then we still have some remaining works which were uh, filtering out through a number of uh, sales. Um, so what I absolutely adore about this picture is that it's a riot of colour. Um, it's also got some wonderful shapes and forms, but there's very much a sense that you know exactly what it is, despite the fact that it's almost abstract. But the, the just this this lovely verdant green, these wonderful blues. Um, so there's there's lots of interesting forms, um, but there's also gives that suggestion that it was painted very quickly and it was painted in a sense en plein air. It was painted while she was there. Uh, so there's that lovely sense of immediacy. Um, this picture has an estimate of two and a half to three and a half thousand. Um, so the next one that I am thinking of is um, this work, which is lot number 72 in the catalogue, and it's by Terry Flanagan, or T.P. Flanagan, uh, as a lot of people would know him. And it's a picture known or called uh, Water Meadows, Belle Isle, County Fermanagh. And of course, uh, T.P. and his wife Sheila um, were um, a very much a significant part of the arts community in Northern Ireland and particularly in County Fermanagh where they lived. Um, this particular picture is painted in oil and um, is from 1990. Um, and I think what's wonderful about the work is that 
um, Terry conveys that lovely sense of the elements, the sense of uh, air and water and vegetation. And despite the fact that, you know, it's, it's presumably looks like somewhat of a grey day, there is no sense of it being sort of dour or, or you know, it's not having a major impact on the colour of the grass. And there's these wonderful pops of yellow uh, from the, um, uh, the, the plants that are growing in the water meadow. Um, <clears throat> this is a good sized picture. It's uh, 49 by 59 centimetres, as I say, painted in 1990. And it comes directly from the artist's family. And it is estimated at three to 5,000. Uh, now, my final choice um, for this particular question is <clears throat> his work by Louis Le Brocchi. Uh, it's an untitled work. It's a watercolour um, and it is from 1988. Um, it's quite a small work, it's uh, 17 by 25 centimetres. Um, Louis Le Brocchi was perhaps um, Ireland's best known um, uh, painter, um, certainly best known in Ireland and also very, very well known uh, internationally and very well regarded internationally. Um, this picture um, depicts what seems to be um, something like a glass house or maybe even a sort of a market like Smithfield. Um, there's three figures, um, three hatted figures there walking through the centre of the composition and the wonderful light that comes through from the, um, the, glass, the glass roof. Um, and again, as I say, it could be, it could be someplace like a greenhouse in the Botanic Gardens uh, or else, in fact, it could be someplace, as I say, like Smithfield. Um, I'm, um, I love, love the sense of the, again, the, media, the immediacy of, of the work. Uh, it just conveys a lovely sense that, you know, you're, you're there, you just catch a glimpse of these people walking through the composition. Um, and Louis was a real uh, expert at capturing um, the essence of a scene. Um, this picture is estimated at three to five thousand and there's not many works by Louis Le Brocchi that you can buy that sort of money. Um, so uh, be a very good buy in my view. Um, so I hope it's given you just a little bit of a flavour um, but as I say there's many many more pictures with estimates um, in that general three to five thousand, one and a half to two and a half thousand uh, territories. Um, so the best thing to do is to look at the catalogue, go online, see the catalogue on, on our website, make up your own mind what it is that you like in terms of the style of a work, um, and then do a little bit of homework, read up about the artist, um, ask us for our advice and we'll happily give it to you and then you can make up your, your own mind at the end of the day and uh, hopefully you can start uh, a wonderful collection.